Hello everybody, hope you're doing well today. Mark G with a C, back with another video. In today's video, we are talking vinyl. All vinyl, four albums, I'm gonna show you. I am gonna show you one CD, but that's only cause that's what's playing in the background. In fact, let's get that out of the way now. This is Ex Mortis, uh, Californian uh, band, modern, thrash metal, melodic, thrash metal, heavy metal, traditional heavy metal, teetering on thrash metal. You make your mind up, but um, yeah, superb anyway. 2018 release on Prosthetic Records. Ex Mortis, The Sound of Steel. Really like these guys, yeah, I picked up a few of their albums recently and um, very good. So that's it, that's the CD out of the way. It's just us and vinyl today. So, um, if you remember me talking about, uh, talking in one of my previous videos about, I think it just stems from watching um, all the other people making videos um, on YouTube, showing vinyl, kind of got me, reignited something in me. I thought, Do you know what? I do love CDs, CDs are my, my go-to, but I love seeing the vinyl. Um, OG presses, represses, whatever it is. Um, and it got me thinking, you know, I, I think I'd quite like to start collecting my favourite albums from back in the day, uh, well, up to modern day really, just if I see them cheap at the right price, because vinyl's quite expensive, isn't it, nowadays? Um, but if I see it for the right price, I'm all over it, I'm going to I'm gonna have it. So, I've picked up four recently, uh, four of my favourite albums um, on vinyl. So, um, stop waffling, two minutes into it, and I'm still waffling, as I always do. Um, let's show you. From 1992, um, Seance and For Never Laid to Rest. Swedish death metal. Um, but the difference with these guys is they're the least Swedish death metal sounding Swedish death metal bands ever. Very, very Floridian style, very American style, um, very technical. Um, the OG press of this, this is a reissue. Um, I'm not sure what year this reissue is from, but it's on the Black Mark label. Um, yeah, technical very American sounding um, and probably one of those bands that kind of got missed amongst all the Swedish death metal bands because they weren't sounding like Swedish death metal um, really good really good that artwork quality quality artwork that I'm not sure if that's um, Thomas Warling who's done that but um, yeah like I've said um, if I, can, if I can get them for the right price, I don't like to pay a lot for anything. <laughs> I've said it before, but if I can get it around the £10 mark, maybe a little bit over, I'm happy with that. That's the inlay. Um, I do tend to take my vine, as you can see there, can you see? They always start to split. A bit weird how they've left that side blank. I'm not quite sure why that is. I just thought they might have included a picture, but yeah, I like to take my vinyl out and stick it in the um, anti-static inserts. But yeah, bog standard uh, black vinyl, um, Seance logo on there, and the same on the other side. Um, if you're not familiar with Seance, um, I think this is their second, might be the first full length release if I remember rightly. I won't try and spend too much time putting this, in fact I won't spend any time trying to put it away because I'll just make a mess of it and um, yeah, um, Swedish death metal that doesn't sound like Swedish death metal. If you like sort of deicide, malevolent creation, um, gore guts even, I know they're Canadian but it's got that technical element to it. Give it a whirl. Seance for never laid to rest. My second uh, vinyl pickup um, to show in this video anyway is 
Arizona, Florida, Florida, Arizona in the USA, and it's Flotsam and Jetsam and their debut album Doomsday for the Deceiver. Absolutely love this album. I love Flotsam's debut. I love I love all their albums, but this album, no place for disgrace. When the storm comes down, love them. Um, if you can see there, this features, um, well, it's the only Flotsam and Jetsam album with um, their original bass player Jason Newstead before he uh, flew the nest and joined the mighty Metallica. Um, it's just a great, great album. This is uh, 89, no, 86 press on Roadrunner. Um, I think it might be Roadrunner and Metal Blade. They did quite a few releases like that back in the day. Just a great, great, great thrash album. Old school thrash. Like I say, um, I always take the vinyl out of the uh, inner book. It's a very thin, thin paper insert. But it's in good nick, that, isn't it? And I love that logo. Love that Flotsam and Jetsam logo there with a the skull on it. I'd like to get a shirt with that on one day. Um, yeah, lyrics on that side, thanks list, pictures on that side. And the label, like I say, it's got Roadrunner on the uh, on the back of the back of the record, if you can see. There you've got your little Roadrunner label. And on the vinyl, we've got the metal blade. But like I say, it seems to do it uh, a bit back in the day there. Superb, superb. I'm sure any of you people watching this, you know exactly who Faith No More. Faith No More? What's going on? Arizona in Florida, Faith No More? I've lost my mind. Um, yeah, any of you guys know Flotsam and Jetsam, you know. Superb, superb. Thrash, metal. Eric A.K., the vocalist. Just, yeah, what a set of pipes he's got. Um, fabulous, fabulous. Um, next up, and I'll try not to talk absolute shite as I'm explaining these, like I have just done with the Flotsam and Jetsam uh, vinyl. From the Bay Area, one of the Bay Area's uh, finest and first purveyors of thrash metal. Um, these guys get coined with the, the death metal. Um, label because they had a song on their debut album death metal but they're, they're not a death metal band for me it, it could be bordering on that death thrash that proto death whatever you want to call it but this is uh, possessed and the eyes of horror i have got this ep um on beyond not beyond the gates yeah beyond the gates it's on there but i wanted to pick it up because i just love that artwork and I had this on vinyl back in the day in fact it was the only possessed album I had back in the day absolutely love it this is better for me for me personally in my opinion this is this is better than um, seven churches it's better than uh, beyond the gates I just love it I know it's only an EP but there's something about this that's it's it's a bit more tidy it's a bit more it feels a bit more focused than those other two releases for me. Um, and yeah, Jeff, the main man there, and uh, Larry Lalonde, as we all know, went on to um, to do um, Blind Illusion and later on the Nat Primus. But yeah, superb, just just some great riffs in this uh, in this album. There's the in it. Indecent Nick, that in it as well. Good picture of the band and lyrics on the other side. Still in good Nick, being white and all that. Um, this is, yeah, Under One Flag, M Flag 16. Uh, Under One Flag was a great label. Great label back in the day um, in the UK. These, a lot of the albums that came out in America on Combat. Um, when they released in the UK, um, they were always, it was under one flag who, who, who distributed and put them out there. But yeah, fabulous album. Like I say, only uh, five songs, but 
just packed full of riffs. Uh, and for me personally, it's my favourite possessed uh, possessed release. I am looking to pick up Seven Churches on vinyl because I do love that album. Um, but yeah, I just love that artwork, uh, and that's the beauty, I suppose, of the 12-inch vinyl, isn't it? You know, the artwork's there um, in full glory. You know, it's not um, scaled down to fit in the CD uh, jewel case. And last but certainly not least, from California, um, one of my favourite death metal bands of all time, and I suppose one of the sort of forefathers of the whole scene, really, and that is uh, Autopsy, and their debut album, Severed Survival. When I first picked this album up, well, in fact, it was a friend of mine, he was the first one to buy it on vinyl, and it had the alternate, the alternate, alternate cover um, with the surgeons on it uh, but this is a recent re-release it was originally released in 89 7 survival this is a 2009 release again on the peaceful label I would love to pick an OG press up but big money and like I say I'm only gonna I'm only gonna pick stuff up if I can get it for the right price but um, if you've never heard autopsy just great Doomy, filthy death metal. The first band um, that I was aware of when I was getting into sort of death metal, where the drummer was the vocalist, and I was lucky enough to see these guys play. Um, and it's an art form in itself, watching a, a death metal drummer doing the vocals as well. Um, I did see uh, Nocturnus as well back in the day, and that that was their drummer was the vocalist as well. But um, yeah, just superb, superb. I'll show you the inner first. The bog standard, the thrash metal, death metal collage on the insert. I say bog standard, bog standard. A lot of bands did it, I love it. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying bog standard because it's boring. It was uh, part of it. Um, it was all part of the scene back then and absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, on the one side and the uh, lyrics on the other. Um, custom labels on this. All black vinyl. No messing about. It's nice and heavy, this one. But um, what I like about this is they've put the original cover on one label. And as I mentioned before, the surgeons on the other side. Shows up the dust on there, doesn't it? Yeah, so... Um, one of my favourite, favourite, like I say, death metal bands going. Um, so nice to pick up that. I do have, I do own their second Mental Funeral, um, an OG press on that. So yeah, it's nice. Um, I have picked up a little bit more vinyl as well. Um, but what I'm trying to do, I want to keep these videos to a decent length. Um, so I'm just going to sort of show you four, maybe five at a time. Um, I have picked up quite a bit actually this year. Um, because, like I say, if it's a bargain, I'm having it. Um, and you'll know me for a bargain, guys. So uh, that's it. Vinyl all the way today. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please leave a comment. Let's talk about the music. If you've heard about it, if you haven't heard about it, if it interests you, if it doesn't interest you, it's all about the interaction uh, of the comment section, guys. But yeah, thanks for watching, as I say. Um, and until I speak to you, take care. All the best. See you soon guys, bye for now.